Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I would love for you to hang around and click that subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you don't miss another video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how I made these two really beautiful DIYs, mirror decor, home decor DIYs. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you want to see how I put them together, go ahead and keep on watching. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you like mirror decor. So this is what we're going to be starting off with. I'm not going to be using everything, but these are the things that I have available. Some of my totally dazzled brooches, some florals, a floral foam, wire cutters, and mirrors, etc. I will list everything down below for you guys. So the first thing I did was to line up my round mirrors from the Dollar Tree because I'm going to be making a flower base, but it's going to be vertical and I wanted to make sure it was not wonky. So I lined up the mirrors and then I used some duct tape to put everything together. Now the seam of the mirrors is super thin, so the duct tape is going to come through and you're going to have to cut the little bit of excess. Then I lined up my second row. I was being interrupted so many times during this DIY and I made a few mistakes as you will see later on. I meant to line them up so that the foam pieces were not where I was meeting the two mirrors together. But on the second row as you can see I put them in a way that the foam pieces were in the way. So I decided to use the popsicle sticks to give it more support because it's going to be um, vertical so it's going to be like a tower so you definitely need that support and if you have the time to remove the foam pieces definitely do that because it'll make your life a lot easier I then lined up everything and added my duct tape and then started working on my third row so I'm using a four mirrors and three rows so it's going to be 12 mirrors for this DIY so now I lined everything up perfectly so I was able to use my popsicle sticks a lot more easily and I added hot glue and also a little bit of that fix all from the Dollar Tree. Again another layer of duct tape, I pretty much just repeated the same process three times. So at this point... Um, I wanted to cover everything with this fabric that I had laying around. It's an old pillow cover that was a little bit damaged. So I cut some circles. However, I did this after the fact because again, I was getting interrupted so many times by my daughter that I started gluing this whole thing together and completely forgot to cover the inside. So as you can see, this clip happened before I added the fabric. So I'm using these little containers that the Dollar Tree carries. They come in a pack of 12 or 8 or something and they're small little clear containers and they're perfect to support the corners of the mirrors because they're clear you're really not going to see them too much and also um, the curve works really well with the corners. So I'm going to use that on every single corner of my vase. So once I would have had everything covered, I would be doing the step that I just did. So I'm really sorry, it's a little bit backwards, but... So next I took my foam board and, not foam board, floral foam, and I cut a piece that was going to fit between those little clear containers. And I just added a little bit of hot glue to support it, and this is what the final result looked like. I also used some of my crystal um, ribbon, that crushed crystal ribbon, to add a little bit of detail on the corners and I really love the outcome. As you can see, you can see the fabric peeking through. There's a lot of gap between the mirrors so you definitely want to cover the back of your mirrors. If you can remove all the stuff and maybe spray paint it and add another type of fabric, it will be a really good idea. So for the next DIY, I'm going to be using this piece here from Z Gallery as my inspiration. And the small piece retails for $12.99 and I'm going to be making it for just about $4. So I'm using this decorative decal just because I had it laying around but you definitely do not need it for this. 
I get it on Amazon and if you're interested I will link it below. I just went ahead and cut it in half basically by removing those two little tabs in the middle. And then I used a little bit of hot glue on the edges and glued it right onto the glass. I use a very small amount because I did not want to see the glue on the other side. And the other thing with those is the back is blue, so you might want to spray paint the back if you want to have like a 360 view. If you're just going to have it um, facing a wall or something on the other direction, you won't need to do that. So I went ahead and glued everything in this design. You can do it however you'd like, whatever works. And I also added some hot glue at all the corners of the glass just to make sure that it was secure. I'm using this cover from one of the acrylic trays that the Dollar Tree carries. And I used the acrylic um, tray from in another project and I just had the cover left over. So I went ahead and added some hot glue on the edge and then I glued the frame directly onto the side of it. And you could do it in any direction, vertical or horizontal. So once I had the two pieces glued together, I flipped my whole unit around and I'm using my totally dazzled mesh wrap and I just added a little bit of hot glue on the corners. And there you have it. So I have a little tea light from the Dollar Tree and I have a piece of crystal that actually broke that I decided to put on top. I added a totally dazzled brooch in the middle just for a little bit of detail. Some of these gems from uh, Walmart that I have. And I mean, you can decorate however you want, so that's why I really didn't show this step. But I think it came out really nice. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are new. And follow me on social media if you don't already do. I thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you in my next video. God bless and bye-bye.